This, I just made my first scrunchie. So, and I'm gonna be starting a business. So just let me know if you want one and I'll make you one. Oh my God. <laughs> Riley, in a couple years, when you're all famous, don't forget about me. I love my job, guys. to my new YouTube friends. I realized in my videos I never properly introduce myself. How rude of me, I'm sorry. My name is Tina and I'm the creator of XXL Scrunchie and I make XXL Scrunchies. I'm my sewing machine in to get serviced. Hi Tina. Hi. And then I'm also picking up a brand new one. Me and my new Jiggy at home. And because when I move into the warehouse, I'm gonna hire another sewer and they will obviously need their own machine because I'm gonna need my own machine. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm getting a new sewing machine. I'm gonna pick up the machine. Hi, Tina. Hi. Unbox the brand new machine with you guys. I'm really excited. Warranty registration, very important. Why is my voice going all crazy? I'm gonna link everything in my description. These are my bobbin organizers. And look, they're super easy to take one out. I just grab it and pull it out. And then when I'm done, I just put it back in. And I have two more on the way because I'm obsessed with these. They fit so many. Before I was just using like a bead case. So a few jades just to feel like I got something done this morning. Velvet. My mom cut this last night or two days ago. My dad folded it for me and now I sew it. And I'll tell you guys more details in the car about like why you should bring your sewing machine to get serviced, why I'm doing it and why I'm getting another one of the exact same one and why I love this machine. Time to pack up the sewing machine. It's like I'm packing up my child to go to go stay at like his friend's house for the first time. Like he's going to go have his first sleepover or something. It looks so weird over here. Okay, I got a bag to put stuff in. And Juki sent me this like oil pad because I pulled it out. I'll show you a photo. I pulled it out of my machine because it was like sticking out and I realized it was bad. Even if it's sticking out, just don't. I'm gonna miss you for a few days. Even though I'm getting another one. <laughs> Bye, see you in the car. Sewing machine picking up time. Ah, ah. 
going to craft village in Belleville. Ooh, and I just found them on Google and they're so, they are so nice. Oh, so close to me. If you like my crew neck, let me know. Early sneak, oh my God. I love the XX guys. Look at my new pin. Buckle up. Sorry, have a little wedgie. You know how much I love listening to music in the car, but I feel like talking to you guys, so I'm not gonna do it. That's like shows how much I care. I hope it does. The thing I don't like about wearing a low bun is like it gets, it's not comfy when you're driving. There's cam a camera on this car, but sometimes I don't trust it. But then sometimes I think it was this way. No, I think it was this way. Turn left. Oh, I'm getting my machine serviced. It's called sewing machine servicing. I didn't really know about until I was watching a YouTube or something and someone mentioned about their servicing. I was like, okay, I should probably look into that. So I bought this machine just over a year, like March or April. When I first started XXL Scrunchie, I just sewed on my mom's sewing machine. My mom's sewing machine is older than me. Then it started to make these creaky noises and then I hopped on YouTube, looked at- Turn left onto College Street. Looked at sewing machines and Juki was one of the first two videos I watched. And then I went on Amazon and I bought it and it came in like three days. And I will actually link my sewing machine below. This machine is amazing because the Juki 2010 TL, it auto cuts the thread if you back pedal, which is why I can sew so quick. I just sew and then I don't have to get my scissors out and trim right away. It leaves like a little thread left. So that's why my dad trims the excess thread after. And it's so quick, it is so fast. You guys see me sewing. It, it has speed control, so it can go slower and then it can go faster. I go. Okay. Ah. This truck's trying to get in my lane. <sighs> what am I talking about? The machine's so quick, I love it. The quality is amazing for all the scrunchies. I noticed like an increased quality. I can trust the machine to do its job. With my mom's machine towards the end, I was like, is it gonna work today? Am I gonna have a good sewing day? Do I have to like fix and change the thread every time for it to like magically work again? And if you buy from Amazon, it's harder to bring your whole machine in to get serviced if there's a problem because Juki customer service is in Miami, Florida. So imagine me shipping my whole entire machine to Miami. But the customer service is amazing. Like my foot pedal hasn't worked and they just shipped me a new one. The guy from Craft Village was telling me the benefits of buying from them. Cause then I could bring my machine just, ah, uh, this car behind me is driving so quick. Bring my sewing machine in so quickly just to them and they would fix it cause they have warranty. And I would rather have that. I'd rather have that peace of mind. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting a new warehouse, new warehouse. And I'm gonna hire a new sewer, seamstress, sewer, seamstress. They're gonna need a machine too. So why don't I get a new machine from you, support local, support small businesses. Get a machine from you cause they would order it in. And it's only like a $200 price difference to order from them as opposed to Amazon. Yeah, so he ordered the machine for me two weeks ago and it came in. I just had to pay. Left. I'm always lose my train of thought because there was a giant bus turning. A lot of people like talk all the time. For your sewing machine, you're supposed to bring it in once a year. But I use mine literally every day, sometimes eight hours a day. So I probably should should bring it in twice a year. Like I've known how to sew since high school and before that, like I am self-taught. But I don't know all these like little details and these little tricks. But now I know. So I hope this helps someone. Oh, we're almost there. And like the real benefit from buying from them, like your local sewing machine as opposed to Amazon is in the long term, if you need to bring in your machine, if something happens under the warranty and you need to get it fixed and you really need them to fix it, then I can bring it to Craft Village. Otherwise, I'd have to ship the Amazon one to Miami. Your destination. Uh, who knows how long it would take? Who knows? I see it. Craft Village. His name is Eugene. And I just watched Tangle. I only back into parking spots because it's just so much easier. I do it because my cousin did it and she inspired. Thanks, Tom. Love you. I love you and I miss you. We're here. I'm here. We are here. Village, let me help you. Hi, my name is Tina and I'm my sweater. Guys, it's embroidered. I'm obsessed and I love it and I can't wait to launch it. Can't wait to launch it. Sewing machines, what other brands do I recommend? So my cousin, Anland, that does Northern XXL Scrunchie, when she got her machine, I recommended like the Singer or the Brother sewing machine. Obviously, I recommend the Juki, but it's a little more pretty pricey. Like the machine today with taxes came to 1800 Canadian dollars and it's a semi-industrial machine. Never mind, he's not coming. I saw him at the door though. 
So I'm, I need you to take this back. Okay. Getting a new sewing machine. You, that's so cute. Why is she standing in the rain vlogging? Because it's fun. Hi Tina. Hi. I just rang in the whole machine, but it's 16. Okay, I have my card. Curbside pickup life. It's cold. Hey, look at that. <laughs> that's a very special moment. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. I'm so glad you called yesterday because like I said, when, when I couldn't get any, I said, I better. They were sitting in a Cantor warehouse, Belva. And they were, you know what? Good possibility that if I was going to go pick it up, yeah. they would have shipped it back. Oh, uh, good timing. And, and then it would have come back, you know what I mean? It just would have been a big waste of time. So I appreciate the call yesterday. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Right, enjoy. It's a, they're a great machine. Thank you so Take much. Care. Yay. Craft Village. Go home and unbox the machine. I'm gonna unbox the machine with you guys. I forgot that I get to do that with you guys. <laughs> Way too excited. Way too hyper. I'm gonna have all these receipts. Obviously gonna listen to the XX. X, X. Bye guys. See you at home. Home. Me and my new Jiggy at home. We did it guys. We did it together. Unbox this baby. Let's unbox this baby. I don't even know where to start. Semi-industrial straight stick. And just to be clear, I already have this exact machine. I'm just very, very excited to be opening a brand new one and be sharing the experience with you guys. It's a straight stitch only automatic thread trimmer, automatic needle threader, speed control adjustment lever, drop feet, drop feed dogs, Roger, there's drop feed dog. You wanna come over my new jiggy sewing machine with me? Presser foot pressure adjustment. Presser foot pressure adjustment. Presser foot pressure adjustment. It smells good. <laughs> Yay! Hi, YouTube. Now we have to bring it back downstairs, so let's go. We're back. My other one looks so like dirty and like because when I sew black fabric, I guess it just stains on there because I'm sewing like I'm just gonna admire how like nice and shiny. And it comes with a knee lever. So when you're sewing, see it plugs in here. And what it does is it lifts up the foot. This thing that you have to lift up every time you sew. If I push it, how magical is that? So I use my knee to lift up and down every time. Fresh foot pedal action. And so if you backpedal, see how you can backpedal? That is what cuts the thread automatically. And I do it all the time. I, there's a button here that you can press that will cut the thread automatically, which most machines have. But like if you're sewing and then you have to stop to press your hand, it, you lose time. You could be faster if you just, your foot's already on the pedal, you backpedal and do automatic thread cut. Yo. This is so fun, guys. I'll get that stuff later, I'm too excited. I never throw things on the ground either, and it's giving me anxiety. Do you care what this cord looks like? <gasps> Turns on, do you see that? <sighs> this is to adjust the tightness. And I didn't know this for a while, but the blue line indicates where it's at. So the blue line is at two, and if you tighten it more, See, it increases and it can go up to like three or four, but that's really, really tight. And I'm gonna use my old table because I want our new seamstress to have a fresh sewing table and it just inserts in like this. See, and it just sits like this. It just gives like a nice sturdy surface to sew on top of. This Juki comes with it and it has a little measuring thing here, so convenient. Oh, and then you pull this up. Ooh, so fresh. Told you should line up these little dots. Sometimes they're not. See how they can come undone? Every little thing makes a difference on a sewing machine, honestly. You just put underneath so your cones can sit on top and they don't like shake around. I'm excited. Back to work now, I guess.
I hope you enjoyed me picking up my new sewing machine, unpackaging it, explaining why you need to get it serviced, explaining, explaining things, I don't know. And I'm so excited, so excited. Thank you for making this possible. Like without you guys, I wouldn't be getting a second machine. I wouldn't be hiring another seamstress to join the team. We wouldn't be growing without you guys. If you guys have any questions below, comment them down because I write down all the questions to answer in future videos to help as many people as I can. And I feel like by vlogging, it helps way more people and is way way more possible for me to do and run xxl scrunchie at the same time the machine also comes with a bunch of extra things i don't really use those so i'm not really going to show you but it comes with these extra bobbins because the juki machine has very specific bobbins extra needles this to take off the sewing machine needle full screwdriver and even like a little thing of oil and this is called a walker foot and i don't use it you can pretty much start sewing immediately when you get your machine which is super fun In terms of this thing, this knob controls this, which is like the level of the presser foot. So if I had a really thick fabric and I needed this, this is the presser foot and this needed to move up a bit, I would adjust it with this. But the sweet spot that I've read online is to be right in the center there. Look at that clean, beautiful, straight stitch. Like you can barely, you can barely tell that it's there. And you guys all seem to love your scrunchies, so we can all thank the Juki. <laughs> Everything